We all know that Jared Kushner does all of his treasonous acts behind the scenes and avoids the mainstream media. But Kushner finally broke his silence on Monday when he went before the news to talk about a long-term initiative to make government run more efficiently. Kushner starts out by saying, we are here to improve the day-to-day -day lives of the average citizen. That's a core promise and we are keeping it. Together we will unleash the creativity of the private sector to provide citizen services in a way that has never happened before. He moved on to talk about how many of our federal systems are decades old and said that his goal today is to improve people's lives. Before I came to Washington, many warned me that the bureaucracy would resist any change that we tried to implement. Six months into the Trump administration, and we have yet to hear Boy Wonder talk. Because for someone with the amount of power that he has, have you ever heard him speak? Seriously, what does his voice sound like? You don't know, do you? Jared, she just said, Jared, she just said. Oh, Jared, you can't just walk in and not say anything. She used to. Jared, tell us about the walk on the mall last night with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> the Department of Defense, for example, still uses 8-inch floppy disks on some of its legacy systems. Now, Trump has given his son-in-law a wide variety of responsibilities in the White House, including bringing peace to the Middle East, solving the opioid crisis, and practically reorganizing the entire exec executive branch of the United States government. But despite Kushner's efforts into manipulating Americans into thinking that what he says is actually authentic, Twitter was not buying it. Instead, many people went on a full roast session over Kushner's first public appearance, and man, was it brutal. One person tweeted that Jared's voice sounds like the screeching hiss of a million roaches running for cover after the light is turned on. Another person described his voice as being the antidote of female Viagra. Some even went as far as to say that he wouldn't survive prison with that voice. Nevertheless, Jared is now planning to depart for the Middle East, traveling to Jerusalem and Ramallah to help advance peace talks in the region. He's scheduled to meet with the Israeli Prime Minister and Palestinian leader to talk about the next steps in negotiating peace. You can't help but laugh at the fact that these world leaders are forced to talk to a man who sounds like an administrative assistant reading a PowerPoint presentation that some high school kid threw together from a cheat sheet from resume words. Sound familiar, Paul Ryan? Those bills independently. We're going to move those bills at the same time through our process and bring those to the vote. Unfortunately, they'll have to hit what we call the 60 vote threshold. So we have a three pronged approach, a three pronged approach to repealing and replacing Obamacare. Much like Paul Ryan, Jared Kushner looks like he's way over his head, which appears to be a common trait in the Trump administration. Jared, you should just stick to causing corruption behind the scenes, because public speaking is obviously not your forte. I'm Zara Shadi, and this is Content.News, your destination for news that's always real.